In this video, we'll be diving into a few of the best topwater harp baits out there. Adding these baits to your arsenal will increase the likelihood of catching pigs. But first, if this has been your first time here or you watch my content regularly, make sure to hit that subscribe button and the bell. That way you'll never miss my future uploads. The first hard bait on this list is one that is not completely topwater. It's called the Booyah Prank, and you'll soon understand why that name is significant. At first glance, if you're just cruising down the aisle at Bass Pro Shops, you might miss this one specific detail about this bait. However, if you grab it off the shelf and take a closer look, you'll see that it actually has a lip. Yes, that means that this isn't 100% top water. However, it gives you a lot more options than a standard popper. For example, if you retrieve it slowly, it behaves a lot like a wake bait. And if you retrieve it a little faster, you can get it to perform like a crankbait. So if you only brought one setup or you just have indecisive tendencies, then this is the solution. I also really like this color because it's pretty ambiguous. I believe it's called Bone Shiner, just if you're interested in picking one up for yourself. The Monster Bass Patriot is the next one on this list. This walking bait is definitely more stylized than the Zara Spook. I recommend messing around with the action and trying deviations of walking the dog, because sometimes bass become conditioned to avoid baits with actions that they've seen too often. So adding additional jerks and deviations in the bait's action can go a long way. I'm also a fan of this bait's big brother, the Ragnar. And again, it also has that really nice shatter paint job on it and uh, it shares that red treble as well uh, and the action again is quite nice. The next one on this list is another Monster Bass special and that is the Monster Bass Mad Max. This one is another popper but the profile of the bait actually allows for more retrieve options than say the Rebel Pop R. I actually made a video about this lure a year ago and I'll definitely go and include a link in the description so you can watch that and see firsthand how it performs. It comes in a lot of interesting colors and I'm not exactly sure the name of the color that I used in last year's video, but if you go on the Monster Bass website and search it up, I'm sure you'll be able to match it pretty easily. And this last one is the only classic that I've included on this list and that is the Head and Torpedo. I've probably caught more bass on the Head and Torpedo than anything else. It's very versatile, it can be fished a variety of different ways, and it comes in multiple sizes. And I definitely should uh, replace the hooks on this one because it looks like I somehow broke that one. That's kind of interesting. I'm pretty sure I've caught bass on every single size that these come in. Um, that's how much I've used them and how much success I've had with these. The back blade creates a lot of sound and vibration, which is similar to Prey in Distress. Overall, an excellent bait that is terribly underrated. And that's the video. If you haven't already subscribed, make sure and go do that. It really helps out the channel. Thank you for watching.